the auto drive doesn't get me killed. Someone's going to miss this beauty. Looks like Albion has taken over this station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I think the people will soon long for the days when the police were the law. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. the fuck out of here. Oh shit. Not my Archie Bargy. What was that? This area is, is not open to the Leave public. now. Take a breath. Promise to give the fucking cock off. You need to leave. Wait, right no. now. Hang on.
There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. That's correct. Can you confirm this is the same Spider-Bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of Spider-Bot from the Tone bombing site. Any way to find the last user? Navigate the Spider-Bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I'm on it. see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all right get comfy this spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs but it can still jump and fit through vents that's a good way to get through the station undetected mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. to jump your way across to get to the next bent opening.
You're almost there. Make your way through this last bent path. Got it. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Sure. satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. There's only one way to find out what's going on. Let's go. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. Congratulations. You're the chosen one. I'm on my way. Find me a way in, Dagley. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. The perfect place to keep a low profile. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Oh, 
I'd say someone's been doing some off-duty policing from this bunker. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch, too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Very. They must have followed some thread that led them to the tone. The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. So we may be looking at Albion and Clan Kelly working together. This is bad news. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. A lot of people go missing every day. This is not good at all. We have to fix this. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. <laughs> 